very, very far away. And a warm welcome to the Mara part of our Sunset Safari. My name is Jamie. This afternoon, Dave is on camera with me. And Dave and I have been battling the elements, so to speak, with the rain that is slowly but steadily increasing in volume, wouldn't you say, Dave? Just as we managed to get all of our covers back up, the rain is coming down again. And there are lions very, very far away. But the good thing is that this is ideal hunting weather. Perfect hunting conditions. This morning I spent most of the morning with the Angama Pride, and that's the lioness over there. And if I were to guess as to what she's doing, I would say that she's scoping out the buffalo herd in front of her and thinking about a possible hunt. And I'm sure the rest of the lionesses are around here somewhere. You can see the other vehicles moving past, hoping for a glimpse of them. I don't feel so bad about missing them the first time, Dave, given that we were driving in the tent with the windscreen, without a windscreen wiper. I definitely don't feel too bad. So it is hunting weather. One lioness is very hungry. This morning, for those of you that missed it, we actually got to see three brand new additions to this pride, or relatively brand new, about six weeks or so old. And the mother of those particular cubs didn't look as though she got any of the wildebeest meal that they managed to catch yesterday afternoon on the sunset safari. I'm sure that she's thinking about her stomach. She's got three hungry mouths to keep well fed. And I imagine that those are the plans for the evening. It makes everything ties in perfectly though, because this morning, this is where I ended off the sunrise safari with a massive herd of zebra, probably at least a hundred, probably a couple of hundred. And then all of a sudden, when I arrived back here this afternoon, it was completely barren, not a sign of a zebra anywhere. And I think that's because the lions came wandering through and moved off into this area, and I think that scared away the zebra. You might even find that they actually tried to catch one. Although at this distance, they could have one that they're feeding on, and it's quite tricky to see. But the lovely thing about this is that they are right at the base of the mountain that we live on, essentially. We are directly below Angama Mara, and that bodes well for the day ahead. Riti, speaking of lionesses and new mothers, can you see any of the rest of the pride there, Dave? I don't see. I just see buffalo everywhere. Sorry, Riti, you were wondering whether or not a lioness can get pregnant multiple times in her lifetime. Yes, absolutely she can. Did I understand that correctly, Rebecca? Sorry, I'm still struggling a little bit to hear the questions coming through. So lions definitely have more than one pregnancy. In fact, they are quite a resilient animal in terms of their reproductive rate. So if their numbers drop, lions are capable of reproducing quite rapidly. And they'll usually have around about two or three cubs per litter. They can have up to six, but around about two or three is the norm. And that will happen every two or so years. So once the, fem once the cubs reach about a year and a half or so, sometimes even around about two, the mother will start to mate once again, and she will then fall pregnant once again. She'll be pregnant for around about, give or take, a couple of days, three months, and then she will give birth to the next litter of cubs. She's gone flat, hasn't she, Dave? I think she has. I think she's completely vanished now. She was underneath the tree to the left. There's another storm rolling in, and I think this might be your opportunity. She was at the base of that tree on the left of your screen there. And now I don't see her at all. I wonder if perhaps she's not thinking about going for those buffalo. Might be worth going down to the bottom of the hill. <laughs> Our beard, you wonder if it's easier if it's easy to mistake the smaller trees for animals. It is. It's very easy to do, especially at night when we're practicing with our thermal imaging technology as a way of spotting animals. I find that the odd little shrub has given me a cause for a double take, as have as do the rocks a lot. 
because the rocks, of course, retain the heat of the day. Not that there's going to be much heat of the day today. Look at this. Look at what's coming, Dave. I stand by our decision to keep at least one half of the rain covers on. Apparently the bad weather always blows in from the east. That is directly east and it's on its way to us as we speak. I'm still struggling to predict the weather here. I was quite convinced this was going to blow over and it was all going to be absolutely fine this afternoon. The wind disagreed with me and now the rain is... Oh, that's some serious rain. It just goes to show, even though we're out of the rainy season here, it still continues to rain. Jules, you say at least it's a beautiful view. It is a beautiful view, is it not? It is an absolutely stunning view. All the way from Serena in the south, right up along the Mara River. I don't think I'm going to leave these lines, even though we're struggling to see them right now. I think there's the possibility of a hunt. But while we stick with the cat we know, let's go and see whether Ali has any luck with her leopards.